داشتیم آماده چی هست؟ واسه شو شروع کردیم دیگه ها اکی الان اینا رو رمی داریم و خب بله Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Della's Voice. خوش اومدین, خوش اومدین, خوش اومدین. من خیلی خوشحالم که میتونم امروز یکی از بهترین شومنای دنیا رو توی برنامه داشته باشم. Um, این برنامه قرار بوده به انگیتسی باشه. ولی چون که بیشتر بیننده ها ایرانی هستن. ایرانی بلدن ما گفتیم که این برنامه رو به ایرانی اجرا کنیم چی گفتی آرتین؟ من چیزی نگفتم من یکی از دستگاه هم خاموش شد تصویرم رفت و بعد هنوز... دارم دارم ولی هنوز با مایی خب اشکار بالاخره میخوای ایرانی اجرا کنی انگلیش خوبه هر راحتی من مشکلی آره خیلی خوب حالا پس بزن پس من تو رو اول برای بیننده های خودم که اینگه سیف میزنن اینترودوس کنم بعد برد ببینم بلدی آرتین پرتوفیان شومن اکشترا اردنر فانی ویدی سمارت سلف میید هوست آف ده موست لسن تو ایرانیان رادیو شو اکراس ده گلوب هیز گات اوور ایت میلین لسنرز آل اوور ده ورلد And he's been doing this every single weeknight since March of 2013. Your radio show, Artin, is free to everybody. Iranian-speaking people all over the world can listen to you live. You bring them information, inspiration, hope, love, and acceptance. You motivate your listeners to live better lives. You make them laugh, most of all, and you heal their pain. And that's what you've done for me. I admire you. I admire your efforts. And I thank you. I am in, sitting here with deepest gratitude for you being here and a part of my life. So welcome to Della's Voice, our team. Thank you for inviting me, Della John. And uh, I'm happy to... Uh, be with you and your audience. Hello, everyone. <laughs> um, f- so I want to thank you, especially about a year ago, you invited me on your show. Actually, I crashed your show. You didn't invite me. I crashed your show, basically. Um, I sat there and For the first time ever, I discovered that I loved speaking behind a microphone. And it was such an amazing discovery for me. And it, actually, I cracked. I heard myself. No, go ahead. All right. All right. So, um, I, love, I love to be parasite. <laughs> <laughs> you said that I invited you to my show. No, I know, I'm kidding. So, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So, anyways, you let me discover a whole new side of myself, and then from then on, um, you've you've always been inspiring. You've always been encouraging, and so so th- this is this is me thanking you for also this part of my my life so anyways so you're here today because i want to introduce you to my audience to my um to my friends and i want more people to get to know artin patovian and what a wonderful um impact you have um on this world so um can you just say a few words Thank you. Yes, uh, thank you, thank it you. was a pleasure that I invited you to my show, and I'm always open to uh, new talents and uh, people who wants to be uh, in the media. And if they have what it takes, you know what I mean. So uh, it was a pleasure to have you on my show. 
and that's it. Thank you. Um, برای تمام کسایی که ایرانی حرف میزنن از تمام دنیا الان دارن به این برنامه گوش میکنن من نمیدونم چند نفر دارن نگاه میکنن از اتون خواهش میکنم کامنت بذارین برامون هارت بفرستین به همون بگین که دارین گوش میکنین سوال کنین از آرتین هر سوالی دوست داری من اینجا نشستم و هر سوالی داری من از آرتین میپرسم واقعا راست میگم اصلا خجالت نکشید نه ولی seriously Artin I wanted to introduce you in a way that fits you because to me you're you're very inspirational so I have a few questions that I wanted to ask you um, to kind of bring light um, a little bit into who Artin Patovian really is Um, you have a heart of goal, and I've gotten to know that because I know you personally. Um, but for a lot of people, they may not know that. So I've prepared a few questions, and I would like to start asking you those questions. چند تا سوال آماده کنم میخوام از ات بپرسم. از امون خواهش کرده بودن که اگه میشه زیرنویس بنویسین بذاریم ولی من اصلا نمیدونم چجوری باید این کار رو انجام بدیم. Uh, اگر که دوست داری آرتین میتونی نصفش رو انگلیسی بگی نصفش رو فارسی بگی مردم خواسته بودن آروم تر صحبت کنیم من اینو میگم دوستان انگلیسی یاد بگیریم به خدا خیلی براتون خوبه یه خود انگلیسی یاد بگیریم به حال ما سعی خودمون رو میکنیم من uh, از آرتین اجازه میخوام که شروع کنم گو هد ام اول یورز تانک یو تانک یو ام اول یورز بیبی Okay, Artin June. Um, what was the reason why you decided to start your own radio show? Yeah, I love to say that this is this was my passion since I was a kid to be uh, to entertain people. Okay, and when you entertain people. Uh, you get the girls too. So I just uh, went into the entertainment to get more girls. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What a reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, that was a joke. But, uh, you know, when you know something is right for you and you enjoy doing it and you don't have any expectations, Uh, while doing it uh, that's the thing with me and radio or doing uh, media so I started this uh, radio by accident like uh, I was trying to have uh, like find out how to can have a, a YouTube channel then All of a sudden, I saw some videos about uh, internet radio. So I started doing it, and I was sitting on my bed with a laptop, and I had only underwear on my it's a black underwear. Side note. <laughs> yes. And then all of a sudden, the music uh, from my laptop, uh, I could hear it from the shoutcast. So then I started. That's exciting. Getting... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, previous to that, I was doing radio with uh, other stations and stuff like that. But nobody let me do whatever I want to do. You know, everybody wants to control you. So I'm not a kind of control guy, a kind of guy. You know, um, I'm a free man. Yes. That's why I did myself a favor and doing my own radio. Awesome. Um, so. Here's a man who comes from a whole different country. I, I wouldn't say you were in your 30s. So, right? You, I, if I'm not mistaken, you were in your 30s, well in your 30s. Um, you travel across the world. You come to a new country. And for a lot of re- people, this is, a, this is a really complicated situation. to start living a whole new life with a different culture. In a, in a country, perhaps the language barrier is a, um, presents a big challenge. 
and you have nobody here you you have no one to support you how does a how how does that work our team how, how do you build that dream uh you know something i find out about doing something is don't think about the money when you do something like uh, if you do something with love and passion and you like it the money will come uh, and when i came to canada my plan was to become a, a movie director uh, i wanted to study go to university and become a movie director but uh, life is not always the way you want so there is unex unexpected stuff happening uh, during your life so that doesn't happen it didn't happen so i i was doing other things from being a car salesman insurance salesman or uh, having a little uh, burger joint and while I was enjoying doing those stuff but it wasn't my passion like I couldn't uh, see myself to be uh, a burger flipper for all my life because I came to Canada with a vision uh, uh, so I wanted to uh, follow that vision that I had so when I started the radio, I never knew that I'd become uh, like favorite for people or people gonna listen to me because nobody supported me from the mainstream media of the Iranian uh, media inside or out. Everybody ignored my radio. So I started doing uh, with two listeners, myself and uh, one of my friends. So, all of a sudden, the word, word of mouth uh, between people made the radio popular. And now we have a very loyal and beautiful people listening to the radio Shamru. And these people are the asset of any media, like the listeners. I'm so humble uh, in front of them and I love each of my listeners and I do everything to make them happy. Well, you do a good job at that, my friend. Um, your, your listeners are loyal. And, um, but there's something, there's something about Artin. Why do you think that people love you so much, Artin? Not me. Man, do sit nadam or barrier me can. Please repeat your question. <laughs> people love you that's the truth the listeners love you you have a special place in their hearts and why do you think that is mm, i think the best thing and the best answer is being honesty because i'm open to my listeners i never lie if i say something wrong I always apologize or correct it. Uh, and I, I say things that no other host may say, in, at, at least in Iranian media. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so true that you, um, you go beyond that, that, that red line. Yes. Right? You, you uh, talk about the stigmas. You 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 open the conversation on a lot of things that most Iranians culturally don't accept it. Yes. And so you have revolutionized, um, I think, the way um, media is supposed to um, act. A lot of people are sending you lots of love. They're sending you lots of comments. People are saying you're honest um it's because you're you're yourself um, yeah. and you know what you're doing that's so that to me speaks volumes because you respect your listeners um, you yeah. don't take them for fools so no. 
they li- always they think that my them. listeners are smarter than me mm-hmm. and I'm the fool one here. So I, I, I try to be uh, uh, as honest as I can. Ah, thank you. No. Um, are there, okay, so you, you seem like you got it together mm-hmm. all the time. You show up on time every single night. Um, you joke, you laugh, you're, you're strong, you're, you bring your best. Is there any moments when our teen wakes up and doubts? Doubts about what? Do you ever have doubts about why do I keep doing this? Why am what's this for anyways mm. do you have any dark moments with low moods oh of course i'm a human being uh, i i had dark moments i was disappointed uh, at some points but not for what i was doing uh, sometimes i get disappointed uh, from some people that they don't understand uh, the uh, the influence of some stuff that I was talking about that uh, it uh, it has uh, it has its own effect on their life, and they ignore that stuff like uh, being so religious, being so uh, in a r- wrong political uh, views with uh, getting wrong news like fake news and uh, when i see those kind of people uh, sometimes it makes me so nervous and disappointed but at the end of the day i have my own mission and my mission is to uh, make people happy and give them uh, what i know as uh, information or news or whatever uh, that makes them smarter, makes them uh, more informed. That's that's my goal. What what makes you happy, Artin? Me? Mm-hmm. Uh, I see my listeners. Everybody is happy, wealthy, healthy, and uh, successful. That makes me happy because. If my listeners, if other people are successful, that makes me success, successful as well. He's something. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I want to read a couple of comments, okay? Okay. Um, <laughs> people are asking, please ask Dr. Sombolian to speak English. <laughs> uh, 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 Hello, everybody, and I, I'm really happy to <laughs> go to the good. No, uh, God, God, God bless you. Thanks for coming, Dr. Sambolian. It's very nice to have you here. <laughs> I love it. She's a fool. Oh, my God. Dr. Sambolian, you're English. You're good. I know. Yeah, God bless America. No, God bless you. <laughs> Canada, Canada. What Canada, you Canada, Canada, and Iran. Koja? And And Iran. Every, every. God bless everybody. God bless everyone. Um, Arti. Okay. Arti. Yeah. Um, what was your impact to Zendegit Kibude? The biggest influence anyone has ever had in your life. Like who was uh, that? Career wise or like who no, I think I think in terms of building your building our team, who who you are today, who's had the most influence? Uh, I think uh the honest answer would be myself because I compare myself uh, every day to the day before. Uh, but I get 
I listen to the uh, big uh, voices on radio and all of them, I learn from them. But uh, myself is the biggest influence on me. On me. How do you keep yourself going? I eat uh, food. <laughs> I go to the washroom. I hope so. <laughs> 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 so I can keep going. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you do those things. But <clears throat> you're constantly learning. I know that about you. You, you're, you read a lot. You are always listening to other people. Yeah. Um, right. So, I mean, those are, those are big things. I mean, I, I think the moment we stop learning is when we might as well die. Mm-hmm. And that's what sets you apart, I think, is because you're constantly growing yourself. Yes. So you're, you're, you're growing and you're helping other people grow. Yes, I'm my biggest credit, critic. That's true about a lot of people. Yeah. Right. So uh, I never say, oh, I did a good job. I say I can do better. Hmm. That's tough. Mm-hmm. So how about you? What makes well, you think that you can be a, a Dela's voice host? What makes me think? Yeah, what I makes... think I think what first of all, this is your interview, not mine. Okay, let's get that straight. So I'll answer this one question, but that's it. Okay, don't get carried away. <laughs> Sheesh. Um no, but I, I feel like you, Artin, like you said something in the beginning that really hit me and it was as long as you do things with passion and you love what you're doing, you don't really care about the goal. Yeah. Um, the, the end result doesn't really matter. It's really, are you having fun in the process? It's the journey that matters. It's not really the destination. Yeah. So I really agree with you on that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, back to you. Huh? Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. یه دو سوال کردی نمی... نمیتونی دوباره سوال کنی من از قبل گفتم این برنامه انترویو آرتینه okay. مرسی um, آرتین بزرگترین حامی در زندگی کی بوده Who was your biggest supporter in life My biggest supporter in life was my mom and dad parents and uh, I don't have a dad anymore, but my uh, mother is my supporter. She listens to my shows and uh, she sometimes make fun at me. And uh, sometimes she says that was a very bad show. Or sometimes she says, oh, it was good. You did good job. So she supports me a lot. And my biggest supporters after my mom are my listeners. Because if I'm not doing a good job, nobody listen to me. Good answer. Good answer. Pass Bobo, man and Bobo Nadar. Oh, you don't have that. No. Um, what was the what was the best thing you learned about your dad? Uh, with sorry, um, not about your dad, from your dad. He was a hardworking, honest man never cheated in his life at, at at his work not at my mom he did cheat at my mom because he was uh, he was very handsome and women threw themselves to him and he could say no to how many sometimes you get said okay you come uh -huh. <laughs> but he was uh, he was a perfect honest guy he if you give him a money like budget to build a house for you because he was a civil engineer he was spending the last cents on your project he never like get something out for himself he wasn't a thief like so many people are thieves right now especially in iran they're just looking for an opportunity to uh, steal money from each other. Um, so 
I want to say something. I hope you don't mind because you just reminded me of something. Mm -hmm. um, I just know. I just know. I'm telling you. But for me, I'm Kahama Befama. Chamakta Pish, ye Pesabache Piano Mizat. Khelyam Hoop Mizat. Bad Artin. Don't say that. نه بذار بگم این چیزایی که بقیه نمیدونن مردم نمیدونن این چیزایی نمیخوام واقعا نمیخوام اذیتت کنم میدونم مثلا اگه اذیت میشی نمیگم ولی میخوام بگم اینو اجازه بده که خجالت میکشم اون وقت نه خجالت نه خجالت نه You are embarrassing me. Okay. No. Okay, uh, this is about his generosity and his heart of gold. Uh, it was something that touched me very much, okay? There's this little boy who played the piano very well. خیلی خوب پیانو میزد. و آرتینینو فهمید و پیانوی خودشو تصمیم گرفت که بده به این پسر بچه. و اون لحظه من خیلی تاچ شدم. به خاطر اینکه پیش خودم فکر کردم که این معنی سخاوتمندی اینه که از خودت مایه بذاری برای بقیه و تا هر روز این کارو میکنی I, I love I love uh, talented kids if I could I take care of all of them مرسی واقعا yeah. okay. thank you so much Um, how do you how, so this is this is my question to you how do you see yourself Artin five years from now where do you see yourself what I, are you doing five years from now uh, I don't know uh, because I live at the moment I never live at the future I don't know uh, because you never could Yes, that your life gonna be like this shitty after the COVID-19. <laughs> you know? I have no idea what's gonna happen because I'm not a fortune teller. I love to be on top of my job, but I cannot say that because there are always more talented and better guys. Maybe they come and uh, they they be the best. but. At the moment, I try my best to do whatever I can to keep the listeners happy and uh, informed. So this is really good because you're living your passion every day, doing what you do. You don't really care. What's going to happen in five years as long as you live your passion? I mean, so many people could be inspired by this. We spend so much time worrying about our future 10 years from now, 20 years from now, what's going to happen then. But that's it. If you're living what you love, then it doesn't matter. Yeah, I live a life that there is no tomorrow. Like I think that maybe I'm not alive tomorrow. So. You well, live it, you live your best life today. Yes. Ah, that's so good. Farsi sham begu, latfan. Man, as man mi forse ke pain sal dige chi kar mi gotam, che mi dunam man chi kar mi gotam pain sal dige. Na, hiç kas fek nemi kardish ke zendegi ma baad az in korona bekhad be in goh kishide beshe. Bano bar in, tarji mi dam ke dar lahze zendegi konam, طوری که انگار فردایی نیست و ما فردا وجود نداریم همین از امروزمون لذت ببریم و کارمون انجام بدیم مرس چه جوری تمرین میکنی که انقدر انتقاد پذیر باشی که انقدر طاقت انتقاد داشته باشی برای اینکه خیلی خیلی یه چیزیه که در مورد تو خیلی ستایش میکنم اینه که انتقاد پذیری طاقتش رو داری you know? uh, so oh, how, do you, how, how do you work so 
how, how do you work so that you can take criticism so well? Uh, I, I wasn't like that. And I'm still get hurt sometimes from the bad uh, opinions. You know, I get tons of good reviews from uh, different people. They say good things about me. But that just one person says something uh, like not in favor of my uh, opinion, that hurts. But as the time goes by, you get thicker, you get thicker skin and uh, you learn from your critics too. Because sometimes maybe I get angry, maybe uh, it seems that I don't care. But I care. Like I try to uh, to make that listener happy too. But it's not supposed to be that I cannot do. Everyone loves me, or uh, I cannot make everyone happy. I do my best, but other people, uh, other people need listeners too. So it's not mean that everybody should listen to me. I see. No, I, I, I see. It's true. No, <laughs> well, and, and that's the thing. When when you do you, um, it's totally fine whether someone wants to listen to you or not. Um, I, but I think sometimes, sometimes we have you have some listeners who want to listen to you, but they want to conform your program to their liking. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's not cool. Yeah, because uh... First of all, I have to enjoy what I'm doing, okay? So, so far, what I'm doing, I enjoy it. If I don't enjoy it for your happiness, that's not me anymore. Mm. I mean, ultimately, uh, everyone's happiness is in their own hand, right? Yeah, I'm not a prostitute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to make everyone happy. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Dr. Sombolian Chimigit, what's his take on this? I am a prostitute. I, I make everyone happy. I, I just love... knew you were going to say that. Dr. I love I love big boobs and uh, <laughs> uh, who is my beautiful boob? Here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Artin, what are your strengths? Uh, I, I don't know. I think my, my biggest strength uh, is that I can, uh, transform everything to uh, be funny. Like you give me a very, very uh, like serious news, I can make fun of it in a second. That's true about you. Uh, so, so why do you think laughter is important? Why do you think laughter is important? Okay. Laughter is important because we have lots of uh, uh, harshness through the society and our, in our lives. So everybody needs a moment to cool down and uh, get relaxed and forget about uh, his day or her day. Uh, because not everyone is a sweetheart. There are lots of assholes out there that they don't care about others. Well, they, yeah, there are lots of assholes. I'm sometimes asshole myself. So, uh, I think uh, I think the best thing, uh, in my point of view, is that I make people happy 
like a drug or <laughs> alcohol instead of that for uh, uh, for forgetting about their day they can listen to me and uh, for two hours maybe they have a couple of laughs you have listeners our team that live across the world yeah. And when you start your show at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, their time is way in the morning where they have a sleep. Um, you get them laughing. You get them forgetting about their troubles, their, their challenges. Just for that couple of hours, you mm -hmm. bring a totally different perspective to people's lives. And that's why um, you have so many listeners that are loyal to you thank and, you and it's like uh, it's very important like uh, in the in this age of media internet and lots of sources uh i'm so grateful that i have listeners staying awake at 2 30 in the morning till almost 5 a.m and listen to my show i couldn't do that myself like uh this is this is huge that somebody do that and i'm really really gr grateful for that um i'm grateful for that too lots of people are grateful for that um you web hmm? you web hmm. yes hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh? i don't know uh, yeah okay. okay go ahead no go ahead go ahead you don't no. know all of a sudden uh, i I was thinking of frog. Rip it. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so people are saying, hi, Artin, I love your programs and Radio Shamroon. Uh, thank you. Um, is this interview for a job? Yes, it is. And your problem with that? Seriously. Yes, no, it's, it's a job kidding. interview. It's a job interview. Um, are you going to hire him? Yeah, it sounds like I am going to hire you. No, you know what? This is this is a deeper look into our team. Like I think that's important for for uh, your listeners, for for my for my friends too, um, to get to know you a little bit more as as a person, not just a a, a comedy radio show host, because yeah. there's so much more to you. Um, what is you okay hello at a job application uh, what are your weaknesses uh, my weaknesses uh, i don't know like uh, like other humans i have lots of weaknesses like I'm a very emotional through seeing people in poverty or uh, if they're not healthy, especially kids. I cannot see that like, mm, it, it breaks my heart when I see somebody is not doing well financially or anyway, it's, it's so hard for me because in this world, with these resources, it's it doesn't meant to be like this. Like everybody should have their fair share uh, due to their abilities. Like I don't say everybody should have the same stuff like communists. Like at least uh, if somebody is working, if somebody has a talent or educated they should get their fair share. And when I see there are lots of people not doing well, uh, that breaks my heart. Um, you, you said you're emotional, that makes you emotional and that's your weakness, but it's not really a weakness, I think. That's really a strength. Um, you're an empathetic person, which means you feel what people feel. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. That's not a weakness to me, my yeah. friend. That's, that's, a, that's a superpower. Uh, my weakness is cello kebab. I love <laughs> cello kebab too. If I, I am at the diet and 
there is chilo kebab over there that's my weakness i cannot that's your weakness thank yes. you <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my uh, weakness is uh, nice boobs and uh, very beautiful women i cannot stand that too that's, that, that's your weakness, <laughs> my weakness. <laughs> i'm a sex addict <laughs> That's your weakness. See, it's coming out. <laughs> I'm not hiring you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think what do you want people to remember you for? Oh. Uh, I cannot say what I want them to remember me for because that's uh, that's their decision. Uh, I just want to have a good name. That's it. I, I, it doesn't matter how they remember. What does, that, what does that look like to you? I think if you die without putting your mark on the world, uh, you didn't do anything. Like, at least at your position, at your even in your community, in your town, you should have your mark as a human being. Like, it's not all about you. Uh, everybody, everyone in this world has a mission to accomplish. It doesn't matter what, it should be a small mission or a big, but uh, everyone has their own paths to follow. But some people get out of their path uh, because of financial stuff and uh, they live a life that they don't like because they just think this is the way it is. But I'm telling you, get back to your uh, childhood and see what was the most enjoyable game that you ever played. And that's your past. Wow. Yes. Um, اگر یکی بخواد یه کاری رو شروع کنه اما میترسه. Just a second. I, I, it doesn't matter kubide or bag. Just shalu kebab. Okay. Oh, oh, someone asked you that? Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, so my question was, if someone is trying to start something and they're afraid um, mm -hmm. to start, they have hesitation. They're telling themselves those those self-limiting beliefs. Nemituni, to nemituni, to chikarasti, to fikadi kiasti. Kesi nemukhad be togush kone. What what should they do? What what's your advice? Chimi to nivashum begi ke koma keshum. Okay. Being afraid of doing something is natural. Like everybody likes a comfort zone. Everyone. That's why we have lots of people on salary based jobs because they like their comfort zone. Uh, being brave is not about not be scared. It's, it's about doing something while you are scared, but doing it right. That's it. Like you should, if you decide to do something, just go for it. Like, like it's jumping in a pool from the high dive, you know, diving from the uh high hill into the water you just jump mm. um Yes. You do lots of formal questions. Well, this is my interview, no? Yes. Oh. Okay, go ahead. Cliff Johnson. Thank you, Matt. 
که سوال خودتون رو بفرستین سوال خودتون رو میخواییم بفرستین آخه سوال های اینا سوال هایی نیست که من بخوام بپرسم okay, go ahead and ask your questions <laughs> do whatever you think is right, right? holy moly okay so um, if you if you didn't do this if you didn't if you didn't become a radio um, host a comedy radio host what would you be doing I uh, maybe I started making short films or mm. doing my like a YouTube channel. I I was doing the same path. You know, like there is no other way for me. Mm-hmm. Is is that something that you could still do, making short films? I mean, I have I have a very busy schedule, but I I'm trying. to do some stuff like that too yes that's awesome step by step step by step yeah um porsidam ke agar ke ye kar dige mitunasti bokani che kari bud artin javab dad man mitunastam film hay kutah daraz kan film hay kutah okay na khodat 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 javab dad آره فیلم کوتاه درست میکردم یا یه دونه یوتیوب چنل میزدم یا شاید منم مثل این اینایی که تو اینستاگرام کومبره نمیشن همچی کارایی میکردم بالاخره دیگه یه کاری میکردم که به چیز رب داشته باشه به اینترتین مردم Um, so recently you took up um, this new adventure and you uh, have been on stages uh, in in Toronto, in Europe, in, in LA uh, as a stand-up comedian. Uh, yeah. How was that experience for you? Tajrobat dar stand-up comedy chie? Chi do study un karo nesbat be radio? Ayo kodomo bishtar do study? I love any kind of performance. Okay, even I perform in a porn movie or something. <laughs> I like to perform. <laughs> so uh, that that was a very very uh, pleasant experience because you can hear uh, you are chest to chest with your audience. And you can see their reactions while you are doing it because I do like uh, playing uh, at the theater too. So this is this is uh, one of the things that I'm going to do in the future. Maybe I start doing it in English too, like uh, stand up in English to have more audience uh, for my acts. I think it's fantastic. I think you're fully capable of doing it in Farsi and English. Um, this is the is this the first time you've ever done uh, something in English, Artin? Uh, no, I I had a I, I acted in a very small role as an insurance agent in a student. Uh, uh, series like uh, they had a student series on youtube and i acted uh, in english in that it was like 10 years ago maybe 12 years ago yeah but uh, interview wise yes this is the first time i'm doing it in english uh, i i think you're fantastic i think your you, your english is great show me a Show me a, a, an English speaking man who can speak uh, Farsi as you, as good as you speak English and <laughs> I'll give them a medal. So, yeah. you, you know, I mean, people sometimes we take for granted um, that coming from another country, especially when you're older, um, having to learn the language is very, very challenging. But you have overcome that. And I, I think... Um, I think you're, it's because you're, you're a very smart man, you're persistent, you're dedicated, and um, you're, you, know, you, you have a passion and you're, you're going for it. So I, I admire that about you. Yes, uh, 
Kurosh asked me here, how could you handle your uh, self's uh, emotion about lost old friends that they still living in Iran? Uh, that's why uh, one of my uh, goals, okay. my, one of my goals is to help them get themselves free from mm -hmm. what they are go uh, going through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so let me see if there's any, any comments here from you. Lots of comments. I mean, lots of hearts flying around our team, lots of comments. I don't see any hearts here. Well, I see hearts. Um, yeah, I don't. so, um, let's see. This is our team. Best of the best. Um, ask him more interesting questions. What is the matter with you? Really? <laughs> خیلی از آدم توقع دارن <تصفيق> خودتون سوال بفرستین سوال بفرستین من ببینم چی میخواین ازش بپرسم پنج دقیقه وقت دارین دیگه هر سوالی میخواین بگین من ازش میپرسم اوکیه؟ اوکیه اوکی ببینم چیزی میفرستن زود باشین سوالاتون رو بفرستین اگه سوالای بد باشه نمیپرسم و از الان بهتون بگم سوالای بد بفرستید نه سوالی بد نفرستین سوال خوب بفرستین آفرین ببینم چی 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 می اوکی ام یکی بهتون گفته whatever he wants to do he's capable to make it i believe that um yeah. there's lots of me mame qashang ki budi to oh will you somebody proposed to you artin will you marry me they said who uh does it matter yes i want to see the face because i have my weakness to see right it. so there's there's no there's no face right no, I'm, no face. i would i won't i i don't uh, i'm against marriage okay i'm not tell us why oh see <clears throat> tell us why you're I'm against a, marriage <laughs> because it's the most uh, uh reason for getting divorced <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you know, it's true. Okay. So someone says, Sol Feres Dodam, Masud Foshtad. Bevin Chera bad would they get to Feres Dodi Masud Foshtad? The Pasma Sol of a Posham. Susan asked me, Do you prefer to work for uh, someone or to be self employed? I, I prefer to be a self employed. and uh, i cannot stand working for anyone any like all my all my life I, i i never was on a salary i was a commission guy always yeah so i get uh, bankrupt every month yeah yeah <laughs> but it's interesting um okay sina says How can you sit behind the mic and be this much this this professional hand with handling music, telephones, jokes, guests at the same time with only yourself? How much preparation do you have for your daily broadcast? Okay, this is a 24/7 job or career. Okay? So I do Uh, research I study I read I watch even when I'm not working I listen to I listen to other shows especially uh, American shows uh, and uh, I inform myself uh, on a daily basis the other stuff like handling all those stuff is like driving. It's, it's complicated at first, but it comes natural to you after a while you are driving. Before Siam Begu, so I'll input that you can do it in this time of work. You can do it in the microphone, 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 you can do it از قبل آماده میکنی برای برنامه هات کار یه کار 24 ساعته شبانه روزیه که من از صبح تا شب در حال 
یادگیری و گرفتن اطلاعات هستم تا بتونم اطلاعات خوب به چنونده هم بدم بیشتر شعای خارجی رو گوش میدم و اونایی که میدونم کارشون درست داره و همچنین همچنین موقعی که برنامه رو شما اجرا میکنی برای هندل کردن چیزهای مختلف مثل رانندگی میمونه که اولش براتون سخت کلاج کجاست ترمز کجاست و اینا بعد از یه مدت دیگه به صورت ناخداگاه شما این کار رو انجام میدید خیلی کار سخته باید بگم آقا اینا نه تنها از سوالای من راضی نیستن بلکه از سوالای همدیگه هم راضی نیستن یعنی از سوالای همدیگه هم ایراد میگیرن بله سوال بعدی اینا یه سوال کرده میتونی اون رو بپرسی بله میپرسم how much of the program is improvised بباشید do you write down the plan beforehand for every section چقدر از برنامت از قبل آماده کردی؟ و چقدرش همین جوری انجام میشه نه همین جوری ارزم به حضور شما این آماده کردن برنامه من در من اینه نمیدونم میبینید این چی هستش این یه دونه کلاک وایز کلاک که ایت ایت سیز لایک لایک د اینترو اند دن تاکینگ نیوز کلیپ اور talk it's music uh, it's uh, news music joke and stuff like that uh, but the 90% of my show is uh, improvising like it's uh, at the sudden other than the news or clips or jokes uh, I don't I don't write anything myself for my show. I just do it. You just do it. You just yeah. do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just like that. When your heart <laughs> is in it, you do it. Yes. And it just, it comes off so naturally. naturally. Someone says, where did you buy this nice shirt? Me? No, but Artina. Where did you buy that nice shirt? Uh, this called Scully shirts. And uh, I buy them from uh, uh, bootbarn.com. Bootbarn.com. B-O-O-T-B-A-R-N.com. Yeah. I hope that I can give you a brownie. I don't know what I Bootbarn.com. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, so, any other questions? والا بفرستین دیگه سوالاتون رو اگر که no, uh, آرتین پرتوبیان is not my real name it's my show name oh I, I missed that yeah okay but, but during these all years from 2013 I'm used to this name I cannot realize my uh, real name like I I don't know the real name of me anymore You, you've forgotten your real name. Yes, because okay. everybody calls me Artin. Cool. I, what, what, how did you come up with Doc, Dr. Sombolian, Artin? Mm. Uh, it just came up like uh, during the, all the years that I was working and, uh, and uh, performing, this character came up and developed during the years yeah and the name doctor s character doctor sombolian chejuri um shuru shod va esmesh az koja avordi salha bash in character ro kar kardam ba esmay mokhtalif avvala esmesh qazanfar bud ba'dan kam kam izafe shod o shakhsiyatesh shekl gereft o ana shode in ashqali ke mibini دکتر سومولیان خیلی آدم خوبیه بعض وقتا با هم مشکل I never talk to my guests beforehand uh, somebody ask about okay. that uh, yeah 
I never talk to them and I never tell them what what I'm going to talk about. So that's it. Um, when <clears throat> when we planned this interview, uh, I asked Artin if he wants to know the questions. Like, no. I don't no. tell me the questions. Um, Yeah, it's difficult. You cannot teach being a comedian or a showman. You can teach the basic, but you should have the, your own uh, talent for that, you know? But for doing shows and doing radio, I love to have a, like academy, academy to teach people and uh, make them learn and do their, their own stuff. Or they come to the radio and work with me. Yeah, I love to do that. من خیلی دوست دارم که آموزش بدم البته تنز پرداز بودن و اجرا چیزی نیستش که بشه آموزشش داد یه مقداریش بعد خودت در وجودت باشه ولی اون چیزی که از دستم بر بیاد و با کمال میل همیشه دوست دارم آموزش بدم و امیدوارم یه روزی یه کالجی باشه که برای این کار باشه و ما درست بکنیم به اسم کالج رادیو شمرون و بتونیم جوون ها رو توش آموزش بدیم یا خودشون برن کار کنن یا اینکه تو رادیو شمرون مشغول بشن به امید آن روز آرتی یکی پرسیده چرا اسم رادیو شمرون رو انتخاب کردی؟ Why did you choose شمرون for the name of your radio show? شمرون uh, is, uh, is a very nostalgic uh, area for me I love Shemrun and it has another purpose too because Shem, Shemrun means the, a cold place that we are living in Canada and it's cold sometimes here and and another meaning of it is the candle of Iran uh, Shemiran and uh, so it has lots of purposes to use this name uh, thank you. Someone said, "How long have you kn- have you two known each other, and how did you meet?" Chajuri, با هم آشنا شدیم من آرتین چند وقت پیش. Okay, من آرتین که نمیدونه. آقا ما مثلا حدود دو میخوام بگم مثلا پنج سال پیش با مامانم رادیو آرتینو به من معرفی کرد. و گفتش که دلام یه رادیو هست که خیلی ایرونی من اصلا رادیو گوش نمی کردم گفتش این رادیو هست خیلی هم خنده داره اصلا یه چیز متفاوته که دفعه اول که گوش کردم اصلا my jaw dropped I was like what is this uh, listen to the things they're talking about قشنگ uh, همه چی باز صحبت می شد توش I was so surprised anyway so I got hooked آقا for the longest time من اصلا اینو کرده بودم میشنم که برم آرتینو پیدا کنم اصلا برم پید بگردمش پیداش کنم که ببینم اصلا این چجور آدمیه توی مغز خودم قشنگ میدونستم که من یه روز با آرتین خیلی دوست خواهم شد خیلی سمیمی خواهم شد ولی همین فقط اکستنتش همین بود که بعد دیگه وقتی که فهمیدم آرتین قرار بیا تورنتو مطمئن شدم که حتما 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 با شهران بریم میتش کنیم و دیگه همین دیگه همین. Uh, the, uh, دلیل اصلی که با هم دوست شدیم این بود که یه نفر یه ایمیل بعد به تو داده بود در مورد من بعد گفته بودن توش تو به من تماس گرفتی و بعد من uh, بهت گفتم که این همه چرت و پرت رو برای توضیح دادم و دیگه از موقع با هم دوست شدیم آره این زده شد چه این زده شد yeah. بعدش دیگه ببینم دیگه سوال آها um, Would Dr. Sombolian answer a question in English please? Yes. What question? بری سوال بکنین ببینیم چه سوالی میخوام بکنین 
Um, oh, here. Does, does anyone else uh, other than you helps you or chooses messages on WhatsApp to be read on air or how does it work? Uh, all the messages comes to me personally. Nobody else read your messages anywhere. And it's all for me. And uh, I read it right through my screen. So you just pick How, what makes you what no. helps you pick? Uh, listen, there are like lots of messages comes mm -hmm. to me, like thousands during the show and before it. But I usually uh, read the ones that comes live. You know, like they are listening live and message me while I'm doing the show. So I read those new and fresh ones. Okay. بخواد اینکه یه خروار مسیج میاد رو واتساب خب سخته دیگه بخواد همه رو بخونی و همینجوری مثلا این رندوم پیک میکنی دیگه واسه واسه خودت دیگه 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 ها ها مینی ورک ویت یو ات دی رادیو استیشن چند نفر باد کار میکنن اوردی میدونیم که وان من شو دیگه وان من شو Yes, but uh, there are lots of people around the world that they contribute their talents and their knowledge with uh, my listeners. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, here's an interesting question. Uh, maybe. Um, if you can bring one person back from death, who would that be? That's a hypothetical question. It but, is. Okay. It is the, it is going to be selfish to say I want my dad to be alive, but I think uh, great Cyrus or Reza Shah. Great Cyrus or Reza Shah. Yes. Okay. But Echi, great Cyrus. Uh, I think we need at this moment to someone like that. Okay. Um. دیگه why don't چی we don't care what we oh نه هیچی بخش اصلا نفهمیدم هیچ okay um Artin we're out of time man mm. uh, there uh, is uh, there is one person I think uh, is Miss John Gate the اگه میشه اونو بلاکش کنید لطفا um, بله حتما این کار خواهیم کرد اصلا اهمیت ندین این آقا نمیدم کی هستن ولی به طرق مختلف میخوان یه جوری اذیت کنن کم بریزن اسم کسی هم که با اسم جان گیتس میاد اینجا و میخواد هارت اپ کنه خیلی ازت ممنونم Thank you. خیلی خیلی ازت ممنونم. Um, I'm so thankful for this opportunity. I this is something I would have never even dreamed of to be honest with you. Um, it was so outside my comfort zone to one day have such a conversation and you allowing me to interview you on um, on my modest Della's voice. I thank you. so so much um i wish you the very best in your endeavors any I last thank, words i thank uh, all of my listeners for all their supports it's not much but it keeps me going i hope that i had more supports uh, from the listeners so i could uh, i could invest in a college for the, young people and stuff like that and develop the radio more uh, but i'm thankful for every every listener the ones who uh, donate or they listen just thank you um and i want to thank you as one of your listeners for doing everything you you are doing for really um putting yourself out there 
so that the rest of us could benefit for informing us, for inspiring us, for motivating us, for opening our eyes, uh, for giving us a new perspective on life and uh, for making us laugh, most of all. Uh, we totally appreciate it. And I do, I, I also do. I invite everybody who's listening um, to do their part because this guy is doing more than his fair share. So please support Radio Shamroon. Um, what is, uh, it's, it's www.radioshamroon.com. You can go there, there's, um, there's PayPal there. You can, you can um, do your part, do your part. Do your part. That's all yeah. I got to say. If you can, it doesn't, uh, I don't want anybody uh, donate if they have uh, impact on their family or their income, uh, like economy. I don't want that. But if you can, if you have some spare money that want to support our movement, I really appreciate that. Um, someone just called you a guru. Yeah. Yeah. That means I'm uh, uh, in a grave or something? No. A guru <laughs> is a great, great man who knows what, who knows his shit. Okay. That's you. Thank um, you. So I thank you. Uh, all your listeners, thank you. And all my friends who never knew you, also thank you. Arti Jun. Uh, till we meet again yep. thanks again for being here thanks everybody for tuning in merci همه که گوشت کردین نگاه کردین واقعا ممنونم ازتون که انقدر به همون لاف دادین انترکت کردین با همون ممنونم ازتون دوستتون دارم مرسی آتون جون دوستت دارم موضوع خودتون باشین as always this is Della's voice hoping to spark your soul namaste Till next time. <laughs>